Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with another quick Ableton Live video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use MIDI effects to get better MIDI. Uh, we're going to transform really boring MIDI into something a bit more interesting with a couple of quick effects. This is what we got right now to start. Super boring, just continues that for four bars. What we can do is first of all, decide what key we're in. And to do that, we wanna put on the scale control. We have a ton of different scales in here. For most of you who are gonna be using something like this, you're gonna be sticking in C major or C minor. I'm gonna just put major on here for now, and I'm gonna switch it up to G. And the next thing I wanna do is drag a pitch control and put that in front of this, okay? And this is important here. If I'm working on a track in the key of G, I never want my MIDI, no matter what I do with my pitch control, to go outside of the scale. I always want it to be pushed inside. So that's why this can go in front of the C major. If you put it behind it, the MIDI will come in in the key of G, and then if you pitch it incorrectly using semitones, then it will get mic and pushed outside. So we don't ever want that to happen. So we put it in front of the C major. MIDI effect. Next thing I wanna do is make sure I can see my automation and you just press A on your keyboard if you don't have your keyboard set to a MIDI controller. Again, you wanna click on pitch so you, that's what you see. And uh, where is the middle line here? And we wanna come in and drop this down, maybe three semitones and then seven semitones and then come up five semitones and then for that last note, let's go to two. And let's see what that sounds like. It's already more interesting, right? Now we can just rely on our ears and put in whatever sounds good. So I don't particularly like that. Let's drop down four semitones and see what it does. Okay, great. And let's bring this one to six. Actually, let's bring it up to three and see what that sounds like. And maybe let's put it up three. Okay, so this is the basic gist here. Now we can come in and pitch shift this uh, note by note if we wanted to. We can do it on some more intricate MIDI as well. All right, so that's still pretty boring, but let's come in and again, let's pitch it. Let's pitch this, uh, let's go up this time. Go up, and I'm just arbitrarily, arbitrarily putting this in here, uh, you know, and we can come in and fix it later. So, I mean, really, it's all about using your ears after you set up the MIDI devices and the MIDI effects, and then just choose what sounds best. But this is just a really quick way to get, you know, something flowing, some ideas going, and so on and so forth. And then you can jump in and really tweak things out afterwards. If you wanna get more advanced, what we could do is duplicate this channel. And then what we can do is, let's get rid of this for a second, come into this MIDI, right? And you can kind of see here that we have some couple of notes hitting at the same time, and then we have the kind of upper frequency content. If we come in and delete that, okay? And then duplicate that. And then we come down here and delete the high stuff and duplicate that. Now we can control these independently, okay? And this is where things can start to get really interesting. So again, let's come in. Let's see what we got. Okay, so now I have my pitch control on both of these showing and maybe we want to separate and then converge these two. So what we can do is come into the pen tool and let's push this one up, but this one down. And let's see what that sounds like. All right, so now we're really cooking, right? We're doing a lot more interesting things. And remember, because of this, we're always in the key of G 
uh, fundamentally. You know, there's some other things we'll need to think about uh, later on, but for now, just while we're generating ideas, this is a really great way to do it. And then let's come down. So that is much more interesting right out of the gate. In fact, let's take another pitch and put it in front um, on the lower one and let's drop it down 12 semitones. Let's bring this down. Let's bring it up and see what that does. I mean, that is really, really cool. And remember, all we've come from a very humble beginning with just a uh, one bar MIDI clip and made it into something a lot more interesting, especially after we split it and now we're controlling these differently, okay? Now you could do it again even further if you wanted to split these up, but that might be a little bit too much and you know unnecessary, but it depends on how far down the rabbit hole you wanna go. But I mean, we took a really simple one bar loop and made it into something a lot more interesting. And remember, we can always come back in here and tweak this out. We don't have to do it bar by bar. We can come in and easily make changes. I mean, it doesn't really sound awesome because I'm not using a really great patch and I'm not really concerned with anything but showing you how to do this cool MIDI trick with both the scale MIDI effect and the pitch MIDI effect. It's just a really cool and easy way to get some variation to an otherwise simple piece of MIDI. Anyway, I hope that helped. I hope you guys get the gist and aren't too concentrated on how crappy that synth sounds. Anyway, Joshua Casper here. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.